Hey everyone, so Jason Momoa talked recently about Aquaman and he might have revealed something pretty big for Justice League and his solo film. So while promoting his upcoming Justice League movie, Jason Momoa was talking with SFX Magazine in which he revealed that he isn't actually the King of Atlantis and the King of the Seven Seas until the very end of his own Aquaman movie. He says, quote, he's not even Aquaman yet, he's not the King of the Seven Seas, we don't really get there until the end of my solo movie. Really, it's a huge growth for me. It's a gigantic arc for Arthur Curry. It may be tough for a lot of fans to watch what they're gonna see, how I portray him, but you gotta wait until we get to the solo movie to really know. Because he's not king yet, he doesn't believe in himself. He doesn't know what to do with the powers that he has. He's going through tons of loss. He hates Atlanteans, and the fact that people are calling him Aquaman right now, he couldn't care about anything Atlantean. So he's really not quite there yet, that's kind of tough to play. We gotta figure out the origin, where we're going. Some people will be like, this isn't my Aquaman, but we're not quite there yet. So this is an interesting way to take the character, it certainly makes sense though given all of the kind of promotional material that we've heard about it and the behind the scenes featurettes and just the way that the character acts so far as we can see in the Justice League movie trailer that he's kind of like an outsider, he helps out like a fishing village that's on the outskirts, you know, kind of in the middle of nowhere and it seems like he has really pushed away his Atlantean heritage and his own movie will be about finding it again and kind of rekindling that and really taking on the mantle of the King of Atlantis. So I'm interested to see where the story is going and it really looks like James Wan is crafting a interesting narrative for the Aquaman character and I'm hoping to see something really interesting but now we have to question who is the King of Atlantis? Is it Orm or is it someone else? We do know that Nereus is going to be in the movie played by Adolf Lundgren if I remember correctly so it should be an interesting dynamic to see Arthur's character growth over over the next couple of movies. But leave your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you guys think about this direction for the Aquaman character? Having him kind of at first deny his heritage, uh, hate the Atlanteans, not want anything to do with it, and then slowly discovering what it all means and him having this character arc where he does have to assume the mantle. Drop all your thoughts down in the comments below, and for more updates on Aquaman and the DCEU, be sure to subscribe to Hybrid Network. Thanks again for watching this video, if you want to get even more updates from us on social media, links are down in the description box below, and if you want to see our content improve, donate to us on Patreon for exclusive rewards.